below. Welcome to the video. Soulsborne Fanatic here. I made a video over a week ago about the possibility of Bluepoint remaking Bloodborne. I have since received a lot of comments. Some wanting a remake, others not so much. There were some assumptions and misunderstandings of my video that I want to address in this video. There is also an ulterior motive as the previous video did pretty well, so I've got to do another one on this topic. So, Bloodborne being exclusively locked to the PlayStation 4 is something I wanted to talk about, because I've seen this mentioned a few times. The growing and ever-present desire for a PC port. It's nothing new, and people have been wanting this game to come to PC or other platforms for quite a long time now. I do concur with the people wanting it, wanting one, as it prolongs the life of the game and gives the new audience a chance to play and enjoy Bloodborne, with it being uncapped to 60 FPS and a better higher resolution. I want a remaster of some sorts that has the ability to teleport between lamps, damn it. I hate having to go into the Hunter's Dream anytime I want to go anywhere. Hunters should not have to live like this. The world is already a nightmare. By making small quality of life changes and being cautious, it would make it all the better. Another thing as well, I want to make this abundantly clear that a remaster is the way to go. And no, uncapping the frame rate will not ruin the experience, it would only enhance the nightmare. So to wrap this up, keep the changes minimal, and if any, import the game and unlock the frame rate. Now with the obvious part out of the way, let's move on to the most controversial aspects. Don't remake the damn game. Remastering is the way to go. Let me elaborate. So the reasoning for why I don't believe there is any need for a remake that comes down to how pointless it is. This is a mid-gen PS4 game that you want to remake. Doesn't that sound unnecessary? I don't think anyone would see this as anything else other than a shameless cash grab. Making any argument to why you should remake a game that you can get for like $20 on PS4 or even so like the PlayStation Plus stuff with that, and then selling that at $70, like, I, this is just egregious, honestly. It doesn't open a new audience to play the game. What, does, it's going to be higher, more fidelity? Does it really matter? The game looks, the game looks amazing already. It's just, it's not, it doesn't have the highest textures, and it's not the, it was not top tier, uh, graphical fidelity. It's not utilizing the PS4 to, uh, not, it's not utilizing the PS5 to its maximum potential, but why does that matter? <laughs> there was another case of people questioning the reason for remaking another game, and of course talking about The Last of Us. This was a late-gen PS4 game that came out the year the PS4 launched. I'm not here to police who gets to remake what. I'm just questioning why remake a fairly recent game and not just make a new one. It goes deeper, though. There's this idea that the remake doesn't do any harm to the original. Now, you may be asking, what the hell are you talking about? Let me explain. So by remaking Bloodborne, you are letting the original be disrespected by Bluepoint's arrogance. Bluepoint made it a point to change the art direction in a completely new direction for Demon Souls. Valuing higher graphical fidelity over style for Fidelity sake. Blue Point will absolutely do the same thing once again, and I don't see any sound, logical reason for why they wouldn't. Regardless, the principle of a remake is just a plain bad idea. But the original is still there. You can still play it. For now, it may sound like this is being dramatic, but in the best interest of preservation of the original work, you will lose it when the consoles cease to work in the distant future. I want to be thorough with this, so let's just assume they don't put it on the PS6 as a game that you could buy or backwards compatible with the PS5. What does one do? Play the remake? It's a situation I don't want to see happen. There appears to be this misconception that this is from software is doing on ignoring Bloodborne, which there very well may be an element of truth to this. Although the bottom line is that Sony owns the license to Bloodborne, not from software. Like how Sony owns the Demon Souls IP. I can definitely understand how you may see this as being theatrical, maybe a tiny bit melodramatic, but you 
gotta understand how important preservation is and my passion for preservation and blood war. There are so many games that have been lost to time that you are no longer able to purchase. Well, at reasonable prices, sometimes at all, to the point where you have any other options. Take a look at it. Take a look at it this way. Demon Souls, the original PS3 game, is not playable on any other platform, and will continue to be like this for the foreseeable future. A bleak reality. The only alternative to this is, if you do not own a PS3, is to emulate the game through RPCS3. For those who are not familiar with RPCS3 or emulation in general, it's a software that can replicate the experience as it was on the original hardware. With some limitations, it's not perfect and has some issues, but it will continue to improve over time as the developers are more dedicated to this project than any of the suits at Sony Interactive Entertainment about Bloodborne. I respect projects like this that do this with no financial compensation and are very passionate about it. So, how this retains to Bloodborne? There is emulators, in quotes, of the PS4, but are very early in development. There will be no guarantee that this will ever take reach a point where Bloodborne could run on it, or even make any substantial progress. But these are the questions and issues you must consider. I don't believe there's much else I can add onto this, other than I have already stated. So I'll leave it at this. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment sections down below. As always, have a nice rest of your day.